They're bringing the art form of dance to the Champaign-Urbana community. Here now from Dance at Illinois are Paige Calderella, Associate Professor and February Dance Concert Director, and James Crowder Akers, BFA Senior and Choreographer in February Dance. Welcome to both of you. Mm -hmm. Can we please talk about Dance at Illinois and about this program that is available and kind of what your mission is there at the school? Yeah, we have an amazing program lined up that I think really represents our curriculum in a really beautiful and unique way. We have five choreographers that are presenting five completely different works from one another, and I think that really replicates and shows an example of what our dance curriculum is like. Our students study a lot of different forms throughout the year, and this concert is a really beautiful example of contemporary dance, house dance, which James will talk about more, um, lots of different avenues and ways into the dance profession. So is this part of the curriculum there that the students have been working on throughout the year and now this is kind of like our, our big showcase? Yeah, so this program offers five different choreographers from graduate students who are presenting their MFA thesis final pieces um, to James who's doing his kind of BFA culminating in a sense experience and then we also have faculty work so lots of different opportunities to kind of bring the curriculum together. Okay, James, first of all, what's BFA stand for? Uh, it's a Bachelor's in Fine Arts of oh, Dance. Okay, that totally makes sense now. So tell me a little bit about why you chose to study dance and a little bit about your piece. Um, for me, dance was def definitely a happy mistake. Um, I only went into it just to get a credit to graduate from high school. <laughs> um, and I knew that I just didn't have the talent to take choir. Um, <laughs> and I ended up just falling in love with it. And now it's just something that I wanna do for the rest of my life. Um, and then deciding to come here, um, besides just financial reasons, um, the program really stood out to me because it had a very strong community aspect. Um, and I feel that with any workplace or school, you really want to feel like you're welcome and invited. Tell me a little bit about your piece that people are going to see at the upcoming concert, the upcoming event, um, kind of your style. Um, so my piece is called Take It to the Cypher. Um, it ex explores house dance um, and house music as well as street culture and club culture. Um, so I'm a Chicago native, so house music and house dance is like something that's been very much ingrained in me since birth, pretty much. Um, so I want to bring that into this space. Um, additionally, I've also taken house classes here from different, different professors and graduate students. Um, so this is kind of like a culmination of everything that I've learned in my own life experiences and bringing it into the stage. Well, yes, for everyone to appreciate. I guess I'm not familiar with house music. What exactly that looks like? So house music started in the 80s, um, early 80s, late 70s. Um, some would say that the day disco died was when house music was born. Um, and basically it's like very much, we take disco beats from that era and we put them over maybe hard, more hard hitting beats, um, which is like more percussive, more bass, um, which can be house music. And house music has like started to resurface um, in, the more, in the more recent years for like Beyonce and Renaissance, which is a very much house influenced album. Okay, you're putting things into perspective for me. I'm, I'm starting to understand. Um, the Dance at Illinois program is one of the oldest in the country. So well, what does that mean to be able to, to say that, number one, and then to be able to put on a, a show of this um, magnitude? Yeah, I think the Dance at Illinois program has been such a trailblazer for a long time. And I think this concert really kind of represents that trailblazing. Oftentimes, dance concerts, you might see a similar form or aesthetic for every piece. And the fact that we have literally, I feel a little bit of something for everyone to enjoy and find their way into is really exciting and just a great example of what we're doing at Dance at Illinois. And people can see firsthand what you're doing at the concert. So let's, is it a concert? Is it a show? How, how do we describe this? We would say a dance concert. Okay. Yes, and performance. It's, and it's at Cran Arts. At the Cran Arts Center, the Tryon Festival Theater. There's multiple opportunities to check it out. Yes, February 1st through 3rd, uh, 7.30 p.m., plus virtual live stream uh, for free January 31st next Wednesday, also at 7.30 p.m. Okay. Very good. Well, tickets and showtimes will all be at our website after today's show at SayLiving.tv. We wish you the best of luck um, with your with your portion of the concert, and we, we know the future is bright for you. <laughs> you want to learn more about the February dance concert, there's a look at the ticket um, site, and we will have that at SayLiving.tv. TV after today's show.